Tell me a story about the prophets past and how their teachings last today. Tell me a tale of how the good will prevail and how the lessons paved our way. Welcome back to Muslim Sisters of Staten Island Ramadan Read Lab. I am your host, Miali Collins. It's been a pleasure hosting this year's Ramadan Read Aloud with you. As Ramadan comes to an end, I just want to say thank you for all your time and support. We love and appreciate you all. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants you all the best in this life and the next. Today we have a special treat for you. Our last read aloud is going to be done by the board members of Muslim Sisters of Staten Island, and they are going to read Ramadan around the world. Oh mankind, indeed we have created you from male and female, and made you people and tribes that you may know one another. Indeed, the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you. Indeed, Allah is knowing and acquainted. Surah Al-Hujurat 49, Ayat 13. And of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the diversity of the, your language and your colors. Indeed, in that are signs for those who have knowledge. Surah Al-Ram 30, 22. My favorite time of the year is upon us. Ramadan is here. Welcome, O month of mercy. Once a year, Muslims around the world gather to celebrate Ramadan. Near and far across oceans and atop mountains, Muslims celebrate by fasting from dawn to sunset, performing good deeds and being kind to one another. Ramadan teaches people to be thankful for the blessings they have. I visit Muslims across the world and join with their celebrations. Come along with me. Oh look, in Dallas, Texas, Ali and Asiya are making sadaqa jars. Each day in Ramadan, their mom gives them some money to drop inside the sadaqa jar. At the end of Ramadan, they will give all they have collected to those in need. They help their grandparents hang Ramadan lights outside the house and greet their neighbors with yummy, crescent-shaped sugar cookies covered with green star sprinkles. Oh, there's so much more to see. Come along with me. In Chiapas, Mexico, Jose and Maria help their mother make tortillas. They use a special recipe that has been passed down from their Mayan ancestors. Jose loves the soft texture of the dough called masa. He has autism and making tortillas is one of his favorite things to do. Maria presses the dough under the tortilla daughter to flatten it out. Maria and Jose love the smell of fresh homemade tortillas. Delicioso. In Sao Paulo, Brazil, it's almost time for iftar. Zacharia is finishing up his street soccer game before he heads home to break his fast. Playing soccer during Ramadan makes Zachariah thirsty, but he's focused on the game and does not let his team down. Before breaking his fast, he recites a short dua or prayer. Then he drinks water a few sips at a time. Water has never tasted so good. Zachariah is thankful for every sip he drinks. Oh, there's so much more to see. Come along with me. Wow. I see beautiful designs and bright colors. In Tuba, Senegal, Bintu is getting her hands and feet painted with detailed henna designs. She wears a colorful bobu, a flowing wide sleeve traditional robe. Later, Bintu and her family head to the mosque together. Bintu loves going there to listen to the serene recitations of the Quran, the Muslim holy book. Dum, dum, dum. Do you hear that? In Rabat, Morocco, Amira and Malik are waking up for Sahur, the early morning meal, 
Every Ramadan, the Masarati walks through the streets. He plays a drum and sings rhyming tales to wake up people to eat before they begin their fast. Amir and Malik love waking up to the sound of the Masarati's drum. Oh, there's so much more to see. Come along with me. It's crowded at Balao's house in Glasgow, Scotland. He and his family gather around the radio to hear news of the moon sighting that signals the start of Ramadan. Balao is hearing impaired. His mom signs to him, Alhamdulillah, thanks be to God, Ramadan is here. Bilal loves Ramadan. He spends the day giving out toys to children at the orphanage. In Ankara, Turkey, Zainab and Adam are getting ready to go watch Karagos, a shadow puppet play in the street. Children gather to hear the stories and see the puppets. Neighbors also give them sweet treat, but Zainab has diabetes and cannot eat all the sweets she gets. She picks one and set the rest aside to enjoy over the next few days. Oh, there is so much more to see. Come along with me. Here are my friends Lana and Yusuf in Cairo, Egypt. During Ramadan, they join their family and friends in decorating the streets with colorful banners and fawadis, beautiful paper lanterns to mark the beginning of Ramadan. At iftar time, Lana and Yusuf gather with their family at the table to break their fast. In Jerusalem, Palestine, Hamza and Ayan hold hands with their grandmother as they cross the street to buy kunafa from the local bakery. They can't wait to share the sweet treat with their family. Each year, Hamza and Ayan look forward to the first day of Ramadan. They join their neighbors to pray at Masjid al-Aqsa. The mosque is filled with laughter and joy as families offer their well wishes for the arrival of Ramadan. Oh, there's so much more to see. Come along with me. Not far from the Prophet's mosque in Medina, peace and blessings be upon him, Noura and Omar smile and hold hands with their grandfather as they walk through the date suq. Just before the adhan, the call to prayer, they gather in front of the mosque. White tablecloths have been placed in neat rows for people to sit down and break their fast together. Noura and Omar join this communal table drink some milk, and enjoy sharing their dates with those around them before heading inside with their grandfather for the sunset prayer. Zoom, zoom, zoom. In Peshawar, Pakistan, Faisal stands on the balcony and watches as people in the street hurry home to break their fast. Shops close their doors to prepare for iftar. Faisal enjoys these few moments of the cool mountain breeze on his face before he heads inside for his favorite drink, ruavza, or pink milk, made of a sweet red fruit syrup mixed with milk or water. Mmm, I smell something delicious. In Penang, Malaysia, Amin is helping his mother prepare creamy rice porridge called babur lambak to share at the local mosque. Everyone at the mosque thanks Amin and his mother for the hearty meal. Ramadan is a time of giving. Oh, there's so much more to see. Come along with me. In Sydney, Australia, Gabriella looks forward to the annual Ramadan food festival. Food stall line the side of the street. They have some of the most delicious sweets from every corner of the world. The festival is packed with men, women and children who greet each other with salam and exchange hugs and warm wishes. The festival is just minutes away from the mosque where Gabriella enjoys going for Tarawih to the nightly prayers in Ramadan. She grabs a small bite to eat before heading to the mosque to recite prayers with her dad. As Ramadan comes to an end, we welcome Eid al-Fitr, a celebration enjoyed by Muslims everywhere. After a month of fasting, practicing patience and thanksgiving, it is lovely to share our favorite foods and exchange gifts with our family, friends, and neighbors. So you see, my friends, Ramadan is welcomed by Muslims all around the world. No matter where you are or how you celebrate, 
It is surely the most wonderful time of the year. See you next year, Ramadan.